Sagittarius hi guys welcome to my channel so um this reading will be for you if you have Sagittarius as your sun moon venus rise and north node or if you're dealing with a Sagittarius okay guys uh, before I just like press start on the video I heard finances so I feel like some of you guys are um sorting out your finances you're thinking about ways you can pay off things where you can get way, ways you can gain more money so if you guys are thinking about multiple streams of income um you know if if the job is right for you if you want to like if you can get a promotion if there's any way to work up um so that's for i share that with you um so yeah some of you guys are just like thinking about that right now um some of you guys are like ready for the next step in your in your career in your whatever projects you're doing so you have a channel you want to create another one it's something like that something to do with your finances and your income so yeah that's come out but um yeah i'm going to be picking um nine cards from this deck um and i'm going to tell you what i pick up from this okay so i've got one so far I've got one so far okay that's a couple that's come out and that one so we have i just bent up that card way um one two three four five so we've got six so far wow getting that you're dealing with somebody stubborn that's the first thing i'm getting stubborn energy is what i'm getting so far but uh yeah one two three four, six so three more please sagittarius what are sagittarius is currently going through please tell me what they're currently going through Please tell me what Sagittarius is currently going through. Okay. That's three. Okay, so, um, Sag, we have, wow, okay. So we have, I still love my ex. So bearing in mind, this can be you or this could be your person, okay? And you will know, you know, you know if you're over your ex, it's not you. Um, so I still love my ex. They were telling you the truth. I love you, but I'm not ready for change. I can't be the person you deserve. Use your gifts. They will help you in this situation. You guys are very intuitive. Very intuitive. Okay. So um, you can't heal me. I'm not ready. You are mirroring each other. Just come out. Um, we have, I'm becoming a better person. It's time to let go of situations that no longer serve you. And we have accept help. Sag, sometimes you th you guys go through things alone, and I feel like when it gets to the to your breaking point, that's when you reach out for help. That's when you reach out for help. Okay, so I'm getting like there's a there's a connection that's kind of um, really distant, like is something if you're not even sure if it's worth your time your energy right now okay um i'm getting that um i'm becoming a better person that could be both of you could be you could be them okay so um like i said with the start with the intuitive messages someone's thinking about their finances so i feel like if somebody's not focused and actually guys watch the previous reading i've done about two three days ago for sagittarius watch that okay because um it's not similar to this, but um, it will make sense why, you know, this is well, obviously you guys know what's going on in your life, but just watch the other one. OK. Um, someone's someone's stubborn. Someone is not um, working with you. Someone's not a team player. Let's put it like that. OK. It's like say you're in a relationship with this person. It's like you're in a relationship with yourself um, or this person's like like who are you like who are you like you feel like you're if this person's in your home you feel like it's um they're not even your partner it's like a lodger it's like what's the point that it's like i'm not getting a very um lovey-dovey situation i'm not getting like oh my god i'm head over heels for you i feel like it's quite stale that's how i feel with this read um i don't know what it's going to be different for everybody some of you guys are going to have kids together some of you guys could have bought a house together where you know it kind of keeps you attached in some way shape or form i don't know if that's the case um but it has said it's time to let go of situations that no longer serve you okay 
also you can you can't heal me i'm not ready somebody's not ready to start their their journey of self-love of healing of taking accountability of of moving forward in the next uh stage in their life of really no matter what you're into no matter what your faith is okay whether you're religious or you're spiritual or whatever it may be um someone still loves this ex i'm getting like this connection has made you feel like damn maybe my ex wasn't so bad like maybe i really someone no but somebody is definitely thinking damn like i def somebody is definitely thinking and realizing what they have done to um to um affect the certain relationships to um to um you know the the part they played in a failed relationship is what i'm trying to say yeah and they're like damn and they i feel like they're unhappy with themselves and it's kind of like seeping over into this relationship okay that's what i'm getting so um i feel like um i don't know if it's a thing where you guys really want to work on this right now some of you guys may have come to this reading to be like okay i'm trying to figure out what's going on with my person um you know who you are okay so if what i just said is not you but you know that this is the kind of energy that that's happening with this person it, it's them okay i love you but i'm not ready for change i can't be the person you deserve somebody knows that they're not in that place where they can fully give fully commit okay all right Sarge, um maybe you might have asked them say for example say this person still loves their ex and you might have said are you still dealing with your ex and they said no they are telling the truth they're being honest about that okay i feel like they are being honest they are being um it's like the commit i do get like i do get like somebody is there but mentally they're not there with you okay emotionally they're not there with you they're just there physically that's what i'm getting okay that's why i said that, said that it's not really like a lovey-dovey kind of feeling right now it might just be like oh i don't even know if i like this person anymore um i don't know if i like myself with this person being with this person okay that's how somebody's feeling all right so i want to get three cards from the uh crystal angels what is it yeah crystal angels deck right out so we've got one there oh really want to come out you see that all right guys so we have for you Saj, we have heightened intuition what did i say to you guys you're very intuitive please listen to your intuition you know oh my god um be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it's trustworthy absolutely absolutely go with your gut guys you know if you're feeling lost in this connection which i do feel like some of you guys are and you're just like so unhappy because you just don't understand where that person's at mentally physically like emotionally like only you can really take control of that especially if they're not really willing to work with you on this okay um i have passion and purpose your enthusiasm gives you and en gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart so you guys may feel even more so led to, to continue with the project that you're doing, okay? The passion of yours, okay? And this may be, it's funny because in life sometimes we want this, we want that, we want like, not everyone's different, not everybody wants marriage, not everyone wants kids. So I'm not going to say, you know, those things, but we, we the things that we do want, it's... Um, we may think or or assume that it has to go in a certain way but sometimes we are called to do certain things in our life okay and sometimes our passions our projects need to need to be um focused on okay so i really do feel like that with you with you guys and that's why i said with the intuitive messages before the cards i said you guys are thinking about multiple ways of income your finances you know if you can get a promotion a job that pays more okay something like i said if you've got a youtube channel you're thinking about creating other ones ways that you can improve your channel okay so that's why I, that's why i got that I, now i'm realizing why we got that sometimes we we get certain answers and it's like we don't understand why because i was like well 
I yeah, I, I know now like if I'm feeling those things, I'm gonna speak on it. Even if it doesn't make sense to me, I know that it may make sense to somebody else, okay? Because I don't need to know everything. You guys know. I don't need to know the whole story. I can just tell you what I feel. So it's like that. Sometimes you might not know why you're guided to do certain things, but just trust it, guys, okay? Just trust it. So I feel like with this connection, I don't... Like, honestly, unless... Unless you guys are willing to work as a team, even if a team, you know, two of you have to be, like, you know, there really there if not then you guys will make your choice you know where you're going to put your energy moving forward okay um oh my god the last card listen to this guys divine life purpose what have i been speaking about okay trust the signs and your inner guidance yeah which are leading to you to fulfillment focus on your purpose guys this is the time right now okay if you come to this reading for the ones who already subscribed, if you're a new viewer, guys, please focus on your on your um on your on your purpose, your passion, okay, your calling, okay. Don't don't leave it any longer. Act on it, okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in your next reading. Bye, guys.